the committee at its hearing on Monday took the witness statement of Superintendent George Lysander. Sorry, he told the committee that he is currently a protocol officer at the headquarters of the Ghana Police Service. He introduced the new word before the committee. He said the tape in question had parts of it being his voice and the rest was cut and paste. Let me find out from you, do you admit that your voice is on the tape? Yes, Mr. Chair, but there is some cut and paste on the audio, but that notwithstanding, the voice in it is mine. He also indicated to the committee that Bugri Nabu had told a lot of lies and had invented a lot of statements concerning himself and, D and COP George Mensa at the committee. He went further to indicate that he suspected the kind IGP Dr. George Kufu Dampare to be behind the recording and the leaking of the tape. There were other revelations he made at the committee, even though he had indicated to them that there were some instances he wanted to save for an in-camera session. I have an Aji Bugri Nabu on tape. Everything he came to say here, on video, in his office, the same office. His relationship with IGP and contracts, 40,000 boots, contracts. My brother, my brother, but you were very good and said you would speak in camera. Have you forgotten yourself? I, uh, uh, yes. Ask you a very simple question. Chair, sorry. Whether Honourable you chair, appear sorry. before the Honourable NID. chair, sorry. Okay. Honourable chair, I'm, I'm, All right. I'm sorry. On the chairman of the committee in an interview told the media that the committee had acquired a fuller and a much comprehensive tape which they will listen to and analyze and internalize uh, before putting together their report. He also did not rule out the uh, possibility of inviting more uh, witnesses to help the committee with its work. He again indicated that they had received a petition which they would consider from some senior police officers who want to help the work of the committee. Now, you've had the benefit of a tape on the assumption that it's authentic. The members of the committee will have to internalize that tape and it is also transcribed and look at it. And that will give us the ideas as to what to do. First of all, do we bring all the I mean, stakeholders together with their lawyers for cross-examination and uh, cross-firing to take place? Or as we listen attentively and later after, when they finish, they will have our turn. Duke Mensopoku, TV3 News, Parliament House, Accra.